guys Kate and today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up and my August TBR. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on myself to read this month because I'm doing band camp this month and I have been for the past week or so which is probably why there haven't been a lot of videos and because our, our band camp is actually 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening so logically I do not have any time to film a video in that time or read any books in that time so I've been pretty dormant honestly. I actually read a lot in July, which I'm kind of surprised at myself, although I shouldn't be because it was July and I had nothing else to do, but I did read a lot and it just doesn't really look like it because I got them all from the library, but whatever. Anyway, the first book I read is I Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. I gave this three and a half stars. It was a good book, but it was very slow and it seemed like the same thing happened over and over again and it was just a whole lot of build up and nothing really happened until the end and it got really good at the end, but I don't know, I just have some issues. I don't really like Sarah, the main protagonist. Not, she's not the protagonist, she's the female character, if you know what I mean. But it was a good book and I probably will pick up the other ones in the series at some point because I'm excited to see where it goes because I like Six who is introduced at the end of the book and my friend kind of spoiled a bit for me and that got me excited, so I'm gonna continue. The next book I read is Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes, which I gave, of course, five stars because it, it's just getting so good, okay? It's amazing. Now, the first book, I admit I was, I loved it, but I was skeptical, and then Rebel Spring changed everything, and then Gathering Darkness stepped it up again, and it just, it, it keeps getting better and better. Anyway, I gave it five stars, and I loved it. I don't know what else to say. It was just jam-packed of awesomeness. The next book I read is Sheep by Valerie Hobbs. I gave this three stars. It was okay, it was nothing special, but I only read this because I read this, almost finished it back in elementary school, but I never actually finished it and it bothered me so much, so I bought it and I read it. So now I can say that I finished it. It was a decent book, but it's nothing special because it is a children's book. So if you're a kid, this might be a lot more interesting than it was to me. Next book I read is Baby by Patricia McLaughlin. I gave this 4.75 stars. I was pleasantly surprised by it. I honestly didn't expect very much because it's such a short book. I read all these short books in the time of the Cramathon and I really, really had kind of low expectations for this book, but it surpassed them by far because this book was really, really beautiful and I might have even cried at one point. I don't even know. It was just really, really good and I marked a lot of things because there were a lot of really good quotes in here. And the only thing that kept me from giving it five stars was the length because, I don't know, I just feel like a book this length, I can't, I can't give it that because it didn't have that big of an impact on me. I don't know. I can't explain my writing. The next book I read is The Crossing by Gary Paulson, which I really enjoyed. I gave four stars. Um, it was very heartbreaking and kind of eye-opening. This dealt with issues that are very prevalent in this time and in my location in the United States, in Texas, and I found it very interesting and educational and I really, really loved it. The next book I read is a graphic novel and it was called Empire State, A Love Story or Not. I gave it three stars because it was very cute, it was good, I liked it, but it was nothing extraordinary or anything, but it was something that I enjoyed reading, especially as a break between novels. Like sometimes I just I just gotta pick up a graphic novel to give me a break and give me a push into getting back into other kinds of books, if you know what I mean. The last book that I read in August, shoot, no, not August, July. Think dumb. Uh, is Frozen Tides by Morgan Rhodes. Of course, I gave this five stars. Uh, like I said, it keeps getting better and better. And this book threw me for about 500 loops, as the other one did probably about 200 loops. So it just levels it up every time every time i think the reason that this book was my favorite so far was because my ship finally sailed and i'm not gonna say which ship it is because that is spoiling but i actually might have said this in the past but if you read this book you know which ship i'm talking about and i am so happy it sailed now for the books that i need to read or i'm going to read in august i have two summer reading books that i need to get to in the next two weeks which Hopefully is doable, but I mean, whatever. First book is The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. That's a long title. Basically, it's the autobiography of Frederick Douglass and his life in slavery and in discrimination. 
and this is really really good so far i'm 36 pages into it and it is as you would imagine it basically it is hard to read yet it is very good the next book i have to read for school is walden by henry david thoreau which this isn't exactly i don't have to read the entire book i looked at the list and it said that i have to read chapters one and two of this book and i was like man that's really nice like only two chapters that's that's piece of cake so then um the other day i was just like well i wonder how long these two chapters are let me just tell you these two chapters are a hundred pages a hundred pages who who knew that there would be like a 70 page chapter and a 30 page chapter and then it would be 100 pages that i have to read a book because it said two chapters so i assumed you know two chapters it's just two chapters i don't need to worry about it but no i do need to worry about it because it's 100 pages <sighs> the next book i'm going to get to of course is harry potter and the cursed child uh the play the script whatever you want to call it parts one and two and i just got this yesterday who knows why I went out and spent $25 on it. Today I literally went book shopping at like a library thing and I got, I think, 20 books for $10, many of which were hardcovers, although half of those were like books that my mom bought, so they're not all mine, obviously. That would be a lot of books to read by myself. But I was just thinking, you know, I got all those books for $10 and the day before I spent $25 to get this. But hopefully it's worth it. I'm wearing my swag today, my Hogwarts swag because I'm gonna start it today, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The last book I'm hoping to get to in August is I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. This was a spontaneous thing. I just suddenly got the urge to read it, so I put it on hold at the library. So hopefully it comes in soon so I can read it. I think me reading Frederick Douglass's autobiography is what kind of spurred this interest, but I just really, really wanted to read that right now, so. I shall. I have other things I'm hoping to get to this month, but I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm not gonna say anything about them and just hope I get to them and then they'll be my wrap up if they are. So those are the ones that I really, 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 really want to get to. So thank you for watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye.